and welcome. My name is Ashley Maxwell. I enjoy painting and today we're just gonna do some painting together. So, but why am I on YouTube? Why am I painting on YouTube? Why don't I just paint by myself? Well, I took art at high school. My friend said I was like the Bob Ross of our painting class. Now that just, that hit a little spot in my heart. I thought I should bring that to light. Let's paint. If you're following along, we're going to need some palette knives. Voila! Sad story. Little interruption here, but um, I had this wonderful middle palette knife. It had a little wooden handle. All the girls in my art class know that I um, I really had a thing with that palette knife. Recently, it's um, it's run away from home. It's gone missing, so an eye out for Mr. Palette Knife. You know what? We're gonna carry on without him. I don't need him. Even though these plastic ones break <laughs> easily. <laughs> but powering on the Bob Ross. We'll need some paper. We're gonna be working with acrylics, so I'm gonna go for the blocking third acrylic paper in A3. You can choose any size you like, but I feel like doing a nice big kind of feature paint. Big kind of feature rip this out of the pad. Don't rip it. Ooh, ooh. Next thing's next, we're gonna need some paint. Um, grab your paint. Today we're gonna be painting kind of like a flowery scene. I'm quite into those. You can check some out on my Instagram if you'd like to. I'm just gonna use the other side of this palette. Might as well reuse. Let's put on some pretty little flowery colors. White. Plenty of it. <laughs> it's really hard. Warm yellow and cool yellow. A blob of each there. I need to gain some muscles. A cool yellow. Light green. Mix like a little bit of brown with that maybe so it's a bit more natural, not as fluorescent. <laughs> Cool blue. Not really a huge fan of warm blue. I mean, it can be nice sometimes. Sometimes. I'm picky. Just a little blob of that because we're going to want a nice light blue. Nothing too dark. A bit of red for making like a nice pink or something. Maybe some poppies. We could do poppies today. Pop that in a wee little blob. Brown for that green. And sienna. Chroma curl brown. That just went everywhere. Great start. Ooh. You paint over it anyway. It's time to get serious. Ready. Also, thing I forgot is impesto gel medium can help to make it stay up and off the page. Definitely mix some of that into your paint. It dries the same color, dries clear. You guys remember when uh, selfie sticks were like this? I'm be using one today for my tripod. DIY. Good old Kiwi ingenuity. Masking tape to hold it in place. Okay, so let's start for a light blue for the background. Nice and light. Add in some impesto gel medium. In our pelt knife. Add in the medium. And mix it in. It just helps thicken it up and keep body to the paint. Light blue sky there. Clean off the palette knife again. We're gonna make just a light green, leafy, stalky color. This green's a pretty good color already. Just gonna make it a bit more natural by adding in some brown. So we'll just mix that in. Cool blue as well. Just tone it out. Just mix it until you get the color that you're after. All right. Clean that palette knife again. Get our sky. Get our leaves. Come to the flowers when we do them. Do some daisies, maybe some poppies. We add some gel medium into the white. Let's get a nice little light yellow for if we want a little bit of Sun City action in the sky. Get creative, let loose a little. I'm gonna start with the background. Something I forgot to mention in our tools is that you might want a like a little foamy roller to get like the background nice and smooth. So, Blend just as fine with a paintbrush. Feeling like getting a little bit, a little bit creative today. Just gonna roll that blue on. Adding touches of white in there. Even add in a touch more blue to our sky if we'd like. And we'll just go nice and thick over those areas with the brown. I love blending so much. It's so fun. I'm gonna keep a little bit down the bottom here. To I feel like we like the flowers kind of start. Add a little bit of yellow undertone, bring in our lighter yellow. This color. This is simply a base to work with. If you feel like you need a little bit more cloud, just add in some white areas, stab them in wherever you feel you need, and then blend on out again. So when you are happy with your background, you've got your sky and your stalks of the flowers going to be coming up, start with some stalks. We're going to grab a palette knife now. So on the side of the palette knife, get it like that. And we're going to come in with some little strokes where these flowers are going to be coming up. So, just like this. I've been coming from different angles, different ways, different heights. And continue with that. You can try a different palette knife if you like. This one has a longer edge, but this one has a shorter edge. Yeah, I think I prefer this one. Obviously, my, my, my metal one was much nicer, but hey, we don't have the luxury of that right now. 
And make sure you don't just have them coming in just in the page area, like have them coming off to the side as well. So like if you're exiting the page, because that's what would be happening in real life. It's okay if they're not all the same thickness because when does that ever happen? This is an expressive painting. Let's add in some little leaves. I'm going to use the end of our palette knife, grab a wee dog on there, add in a leaf. When you're happy with this kind of like beginning point, we can just literally go ahead and start adding some flowers. So I'm going to try daisies today. I've never actually done daisies before. Keep your palette knife nice and clean. The round edge. Grabbing some of the white, getting stuck into it. Now they don't exactly have to be exactly like daisies. I mean, this is expressionist painting. You can make them look however you please. These might not even end up being daisies. I'm just kind of going for daisy colors. Um, that white's beautifully thick there, so that's awesome. Beautifully thick. Continue. Okay, so now that we've got like a reasonable amount of daisies, we want to add in some like some different flowers to get a little bit of contrast. We come to the foreground and we're going to leave it kind of daisies up here, but we're going to start mixing in some other types of flowers coming down. I reckon today we're going to try out kind of poppies. I mean, these don't look exactly like daisies, like a version of poppies. We start the game with the stalks with our green. Even make these a little bit darker or lighter, depending on what you're going for. Just to help thicken up this area, so I'm going to grab just a touch more blue and that green now just to keep the tones different so that it doesn't blend in too much to itself cool go ahead with those stalks again and we're not too high with these ones we're going to keep kind of here up daisies here down into some poppies so let's get that red i'm going to do like four ish kind of swipes no swipes swipe or no swiping And center so it gives the flower a bit of shape. I'm just gonna continue on with that. Yellow ochre right on a palette and I'm gonna add a little bit of white to that. Make kind of like a wheat grass kind of stalk look. Mix this in. Voila! Use this like looks of wheat grass. Making it a bit thicker down the bottom here so it's denser. Get that feeling of depth to the painting. Alright, so we're going to go on with like a little bit of a darker yellow ochre now, so like pretty much just pure yellow ochre, so we'll keep the little wheat grassy colour to the side. And we'll do the same thing again. You can see that this is starting to come together a little bit more now, it's not looking so like spaced out. I feel like orange and different tones of yellow would look really nice when we start to add them in here, so we're going to do some flowers in that next. Now let's just get some yellow and just start building it up. Little flowers, daddy flowers, whatever you feel it needs. Daddy flowers. Dab around. And during this process here, just feel free to like dab around anywhere and everywhere. You can get pretty creative. While we wait for this to dry, it's probably going to take about overnight. I'm going to go wash my hands because they are incredibly dirty. So this is our final painting. I just want to say a special thank you to everyone who watched that right till the end. Probably not my best painting ever, but um, <laughs> no, definitely not my best painting. But we've got a video up, so yay to that. I'm going to be aiming to post at least weekly. Keep posted, guys, and turn on those post notification bells if you want to hear more. If you like this video, hit the like button so I know, and maybe subscribe if you feel like it.